talk about drop sets. Hey everybody, how you doing? My favorite topic to talk about, drop set high volume training. What is it all about? Here it goes. I'm going to use the example of the mercury in a thermometer. When you're doing high repetitions, and high repetitions, I mean more than 10 or 15. When you're doing repetitions with weight that you can handle for repetitions going into the 20, 25, and 30 rep range, when you're doing those repetitions, you're bringing the maximum amount of blood flow into that muscle group. Okay? Just so you understand. Eight to ten reps is going to bring some blood flow. Then you're going to rest. Blood's going to go down. You need to do another set. Eight to ten reps. A little more blood flow. Up and down, up and down. No, not enough. When you do high repetitions, up to 25 or more repetitions, the blood in your muscles or the mercury in that thermometer is going to shoot to the top. Those high repetitions are going to keep the blood in the muscle. So once you finish that first set of high reps, 25, 20 reps, whatever, you drop the weight. You just started with a weight that you can handle to get those high repetitions. And let's say we're doing barbell curls, for example. Let's say you use 50 pounds on a barbell, 50 pound barbell. You curl it, you get your 25, 30 reps. Immediately, you go from that 50 pound barbell to a 40 pound barbell and you rep that to failure. Failure doesn't have a number. Failure is when I can't do anymore. It might be 15 reps. It might be 20 reps. It might only be 10 reps. It doesn't matter. Failure is failure. Once you hit failure, you drop the weight again, 10 pounds, and you go to the 30 pound barbell, repping it out to failure. Failure doesn't have a number. 30 pounds, repping it out, repping it out, repping it out. Not monkey you know, monkey repetitions, you want to do good controlled repetitions, getting that muscle worked, putting it under contraction. Then you go to the 20 pound barbell, repping it out, repping it out, repping it out. You're done. You rest up. You have done more than 100 repetitions or up to 100 repetitions in that first round of drop sets. 50, 40, 30, 20. You don't get 100 repetitions in a whole workout. Now you are 100 repetitions on your first set of your first round of drop sets. So you wait about a minute between reps, or I'm sorry, a minute between um, exercises. You start out at a 40 pound barbell, or better yet, go to the 30 pound barbell. Because now the blood in your muscle and metal in your arms is really getting swollen. You're repping out the failure. 30 pound barbell curls, repping out the failure. You might get up to that at that 20 and 25 number. Then you go down to 20 pounds, rep it out to failure. Again, failure has no number. Go down to the 10, rep it out to failure. By the time you're done with that first and second round of drops, which sounds like only two sets is actually closer to seven to eight complete sets of barbell curls. You're well over the 150, closer to the 200 repetition range. The skin on your biceps feels like it wants to split, and that's what you want. You want that blood splitting pump. You move over to preacher curls. Grab a light barbell, straight bar, cambered bar, doesn't matter, your preference. You grab that bar, you lean into the preacher bench, and you curl nice and strict. Nice and strict, hard contraction, squeezing those repetitions to failure. The bar can only be a 20-pound bar. It could be a 30-pound bar. I don't care what the weight is. The weight's what you can handle. But you're going to curl that bar to failure. And then once you hit failure... You're going to go to the next bar lighter than that. 10 pounds lighter, 15 pounds lighter, 20 pounds lighter. Doesn't matter. Rep that out to failure. And then you rest a minute. And then you do it again. 
reps to failure, reps to failure. The skin on your biceps is going to be so engorged and, and so tight, it feels like the muscles want to burst through your skin. That's what high volume training is. You can move on to another exercise. You can go on to dumbbell, dumbbell curls, alternate dumbbell curls, concentration curls, whatever finishing exercise you want to do. But when I tell you, when you start doing drop sets, and I only use uh, biceps as an example, you start doing drop set training for all of your body parts. Your muscles are going to grow. They're going to respond. And you're going to get stronger. And your muscles are going to be more conditioned. Because what you started off today with the barbell exercise, for the example of 50 pounds, two or three workouts from now, when you do arms, maybe a month from now, that 50 pounds might be very, very light. So what do you do? Go to the 55. You go to the 60. It's all about high volume, getting that blood splitting pump. Your first set of drop sets that you start with that first exercise is the most important. Because when you walk into that gym, your gas tank is on full. You're full of energy. You need to blow your load. You need to get into that set and you need to go and hit a freaking home run. You need to expend everything you got into that set because that's what's going to set the that's what's going to set the, the, the um what's the word I'm looking for that's going to set the pace for the pump that you're getting and that's what you want. That's every body part I just used biceps as an example. Try this workout. You won't regret it. All of the people I train do drop sets. And look at their pictures. Look at their physiques. Drop set training has totally transformed their physiques. I stand by it. This is what I was taught. This is how I train. And this is how I'm going to train you. Good luck. Let me know how it goes.